Hello there, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at another rifle light or pistol light. It's, more, it's classed as a weapon light. I don't actually like calling rifles weapons, they're tools, but it's the Olight Baldur, Baldur Pro. I'm not going to go into an unboxing part of this video. Other people will have done that. I don't like taking things out of boxes and all that muck. It seems a bit senseless to me. I just want to show you the light. Now you may or may not know that I've got quite a few different Olight products which I've bought down the years and I've done reviews on them. This one was actually sent to me by Olight. They've seen my previous reviews and they said, Would you, do you want to review this one? Uh, I initially was going to say no because even though I was getting it for nothing, I already have quite a similar one on my 1022 takedown. Now the one that's on this takedown is the PL Pro Valkyrie. It's an excellent light, remote switch, it does pretty much everything I want it to do. I've put a filter on it, it doesn't actually come with a filter, but you can see that in another video. This one looks very similar, but it is very different. Okay, before I got this light, I was using an old Olight M22 Warrior, which has got a magnetic X mount. That would basically just be clipped onto the barrel. It's got a remote switch, which goes back here, and I can just turn it on and off as I see fit. That takes up a lot of room, and I've kind of got to take it on and off during transporting the rifle. This one, with the help of a UTG Universal single rail barrel mount, available elsewhere, fits very, very neatly underneath the rifle. We've got the quick detach system, so you can just whip it off or put it straight back on we've got the main light which is up to 1350 lumens which is exceptionally bright and underneath there we've got an exceptionally small but really powerful laser that's a green light and we've got an option of having either just the light light and laser or just the laser I've got it currently set on light and laser. Where you set it would be purely down to your preference. Now, very much like the Valkyrie, on each side, we've got the on-off switch. It might be hard to tell, but by a quick double press of either the left or the right, we can dim the light. So it goes to roughly half power there, full power there. It's difficult to see during the day. Or, Hold both these in, it switches to a strobe and it will produce the laser as well if you have that function enabled. You just have the light, no laser. Now this light on full power is described as having a throw of approximately 260 meters. That's pretty accurate, although the laser is actually visible, oh, I don't know, half a mile away. So 260 meters is quite a long way for a very small flashlight to cast a good quality light, but it does it with ease. The laser, however, will cast pretty much as far as you can see. I live on one side of the valley. The village near me is on the other side of the valley, approximately half a mile away. I put the laser shining towards the houses and other structures over there, and I could easily see it on the house walls, on the trees. It's incredibly powerful and I don't know how they've managed to get such a tight beam to go so far from such a tiny little unit. It's, I mean, it's, it's probably half as long and half as thick as your little finger. It's absolutely tiny. Now that's a really nice, tight, clean dot. No wasted light around it. And I'll just zoom out so you can see exactly how far away that is. Very good. Now the vast majority of these lights will be used on pistols. In the UK, we can't have pistols. Well, we can with a special variation of the firearms license and then you've got to be part of a club, you've got to use it on club property and blah blah blah. It isn't worth bothering with. So consequently, this one is used on a rifle. Now because of the low profile nature of this mount, it does sit reasonably close to the barrel and that to me is important. If you notice the scope, I have it 
quite close to the barrel. That improves accuracy. I've seen a lot of people fix lasers on top of their scope on extended mounts and it sticks up like this far. That means before or beyond the point where you've actually set it, it's way out, absolutely way out. This one, because it's not far below the barrel, is accurate for longer distances after your point of zero and before your point of zero. I won't go into where it is up and down beyond that point of zero because that gets complicated. If you've got a rifle or if you've done any shooting, you'll know exactly what I mean. However, because the mount on this is quite close to the barrel, you do get a little bit of glare from here coming back at you. That's not really noticeable. And this is quite a low profile silencer, so that doesn't bother me. There's a thing, I wonder if the red filter that I bought for the Valkyrie will fit on here. Yes, it will. Just for reference, that's 25.4 millimeters. That's the size of the filter you would need for this particular light. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I will put the link in the video description. And if you're watching on Amazon, I will put the name of this particular filter in the written part of the review. You know, 20 years ago, this technology here would have been seen as witchcraft or something, you know? It's just so far beyond what we had back in the day. It's incredible. To get into the batteries, simply just lift a little catch up on the back. Back folds up. And that's a point actually, this does have to be taken from your gun in order to change the batteries or to charge them up. These ones are rechargeables, they come with the light. The pretty high capacity as well, it's a CR123A battery. Well, in fact, there's two of them, and each one is 1600 milliamp hours. That's good because I looked into buying other ones as spares and the ones that had the little USB charging in, I think they're only 700 milliamps, so they were like less than half the power. I'd rather go with these and just use one of the Olight magnetic chargers to charge them. Again, I'll put the link to that in the video description. Those Olight magnetic chargers are really, really good and cheap. This light does come with a little specialist almost like an allen key but it's like got a star shaped end on it very very small that's for adjusting the laser that is exceptionally easy to do especially when it's on a rifle with a telescopic sight i just rested this on top of my car pointing it at a target about 30 to 35 meters away which is my usual shooting distance and then i simply just put the laser on adjusted it so it met up with the crosshairs and that allowed me to shoot very very accurately just using the laser it's really really simple Okay, so behind me over here, about 30 yards away or something, we've got a steel plate about that sort of size, about four inch diameter hanging in a tree. I will try and point it out when I put the light on. From this distance, it's pretty small. Obviously, looking through the scope, I could hit it every time. It's not a problem. But I'm going to try and hit it just by using the laser. Obviously, the light will come on as well to enable me to see, but I'm going to be shooting from the hip. John Wayne style. Okay, hopefully you can see the dot. The dot is just about on the steel plate now. I'll zoom back out and have a few shots. <laughs> I've got another target uh, it's about the same distance okay hopefully you can see that I'm just holding it at roughly waist height again not looking through the scope just using the laser just like that easy really good light it's all light quality it's solidly made the batteries are high capacity, the laser is a really good quality laser, I mean it, it, it maintains its size way out, um, it's easy to set, 
it fixes very securely to the rifle it's just another excellent product from Olight and I would definitely recommend it beyond a shadow of a doubt.